Hey, welcome back students. We've got another sample problem for us and this time we're going to be looking at Boyle's Law again and so the sample problem reads as follows. A gas system has an initial pressure and volume of 3.38 atmospheres and 5450 milliliters. If the volume changes to 3090 milliliters, what is the final pressure of the system in atmospheres? So the very first thing we need to do is underline the information they give us. What is given? Well, we know that we've got an initial pressure and that pressure is going to be 3.38 atmospheres, so this is your P1. And we also have an initial volume, and that volume is 5450 milliliters. So this is your volume 1. If the volume changes, this is an indication that something has changed. This is the second condition, so the volume here is 3090 milliliters, and this is your V2. And they want us to find the final pressure, so we're trying to find P2. And so keep in mind that the equation that we're using for this types of problems is the following, and that is going to be P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And so all we really need to do at this point is to kind of go ahead and substitute in the information that we've got for each of these problems, for each of these variables, and so we'll do that now. And so our P1 was 3.38 atmospheres. And we're going to multiply that by our volume 1, which is 54, 50 milliliters. This is going to be equal to our pressure 2, but in this case we're looking for P2. And we're going to multiply this by our V2, which is 3090 milliliters. Now in order for us to get the P2 by itself, we do need to divide by the volume 2, on the right hand side, so we'll do that now. We're going to go ahead and divide by 38, 90 milliliters. And what that does is that causes these volumes to cancel. And when it cancels, essentially we're left with P2 on the right hand side, but whatever we do to the right hand side, we have to do the same thing to the left. So we're going to go ahead and divide by 38, 90 milliliters. Now when we have this, we've got a brand new equation on the left hand side. So let me rewrite this equation so it's a little bit less cluttered. And so what we've got is 3.38 atmospheres multiplied by 5450 milliliters divided by the 3890 milliliters. And this is going to be equal to P2. Now at this point what you'll notice is the milliliter unit is going to cancel, so what we are left with is an answer that's going to give us atmospheres. And when we do this, our P2 winds up being the following answer. 5.96 atmospheres. And so this here is the answer for this particular problem. Okay, So go ahead and practice that, and in the next video we'll show you some other calculations for these types of problems.